second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high, hands up high, hands up. <laughs> I've been on top for a while. Now it's not cheap to the moon. Fast car make gon' room room. Take it to the boom boom boom. I'm a visionary. I got the niggas scared. Mmm. Bought a big paddock with a brand new red set. Mmm. Inside new Maybach coupe in the butter jet. Mmm. I'm sliding the road, sliding the line, sliding the bend. But working on my confidence and respect, I get a lot of it. I don't ever mean to contradict. If it's up, then it's up with us. Tryna pour another cup with us. See my brother sitting mud with me. My bitch is a ten, my daddy new me, and I fuck that new wind. I just caught another body knife, poppin' Zanny's a key Caught that slippin' at the cul-de-sac Slotin' on the Oslo and Tote This in Miami, I was chillin' where the soul's at In the Rose Race, I don't need a low jack Keep the 45, I had to hold it Gotta ride with it, cause I'm chosen I just pulled up, won't let me land Plus the guys must have bet it on the photo tape I remember wondering what I'm gon' eat Pull up the dealin' with no key I've been on top for a while What's up, y'all? Your girl is back um, I just had a really good workout at the gym and I am super duper proud of myself for staying consistent. This is the most consistent I have ever been. So definitely it makes you even more motivated to stay consistent when you start seeing results. So I'm going to keep it up to anybody out there who has, you know, tried to do a fitness journey and you have not been consistent, baby, just stay consistent. I promise you, you will get the results that you want you just have to keep pushing you know it's hard to stay consistent but if you want that summer body you want that booty you want that flat tummy you gotta stay consistent honey and you will you will get it done the video to the left is where i started off and this is where i am now so slowly but surely i can see that fat starting to melt away so i am getting ready to head out to my from Cornelius's baby girl's birthday party. Her name is Yuri. So if you saw my last vlog, um, she actually got her first dental appointment a couple months ago. And today she is one. So I'm going to help celebrate with her birthday party. She's finishing up. All done. Makeup is cute. Scent of the day is gonna be Valentino. It smells so, so good. And we ready. So of course I waited minutes until the birthday party to get the gift together, but I got her this smart purse where she can learn different little things and it has little buttons. Um, I also got her two cute outfits. Y'all, I really love shopping for little girl clothes. I think that is so, so cute. And then I also found her a pair of cute little sandals. Very neutral. She can wear these with anything. So I'm going to get the gift together. Of course, we got to use a lot of tissue paper to make it look all cute. I used the whole pack of tissue paper just more so because I know that I'm not going to probably use it for anything else. But we have the gift all together, all tissue papered up, and we are off to the party. <laughs> Little girl, hi. Happy birthday. Let me see. Say so it's my birthday. Girl, don't snatch from me. Let's let him see. <laughs> Good call you again. Good I came to my parents' house and my mom decided that she wanted to fry some crabs today. So, you know, your girl had to come over and get some good old food. So, my mom is about to put these crabs in the fryer and we're going to see how they turn out.
All right, y'all. So I got some fried crab. See that? And we gonna try it. Y'all, this is my mama first time making fried crabs. So we gonna see. Ah, it's hot. Ah, this thing hot. <laughs> Okay, I gotta let that cool down a little bit. All right, well, that's cooling. We got some shrimp, sausage, potato, corn. You put beer in your shrimp, right, Mom? You put beer in Those your I didn't because I made that special sauce. My mama's talking about she made a special sauce. <laughs> Can't tell y'all the secrets, but I read. Shrimp. Mm-hmm. 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 And these shrimp came from the from the fish market. So if you get shrimp from the fish market, it tastes different than what when you get them like in a bag. The ones from the fish market taste better, of course, because they not these weren't frozen, right? Nope. Alright, so my crab done cooled off a bit. See that meat? And these are blue crabs. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. 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 That no <laughs> Look at that meat. It's good. Thank you. What's up, y'all? Today is Monday. I just finished doing a workout. I didn't go to the gym today. I just did like a little at home workout type of thing. I didn't feel like going to the gym today. So now I'm at Starbucks, about to get me a good old sandwich and a drink. So y'all, so Friday, I actually take my local anesthesia course and I am super excited. I finished all of the modules I needed to finish as far as the book work portion. It was 123 modules, which was a lot. But your girl ain't no quitter, so I got it done. And then I have all this week to just kind of review everything I want to review. Yeah, anybody that is going into a hygiene program in North Carolina, y'all are definitely at an advantage because y'all will get to take the local anesthesia part in class. Um, I've been out of school for five years now. So, um, it was a challenge trying to get through the modules. It was all repetitive things, like things I remember hearing before. It was just more so boring. I'm a hands-on person, so after Friday, your girl will be sticking people with local anesthesia. I don't have to wait on a dentist, and I cannot wait. But anywho, I got my Starbucks. I got my matcha. I really wanted to try. They have this new pineapple refresher, but of course, they didn't have any more, so... I stuck with the matcha and then I got me a turkey bacon and egg white sandwich. These are usually really good. That thing just be hot. That thing be coming straight off the press, honey. Y'all tell me why when I was um getting my my wallet. Look at this. I got a whole pair of lashes stuck to my wallet. I thought it was a bug at first. I was like, what in the world? Lashes. I'm sure this is, I'm not the only person this has happened to, but I just thought that was funny. <laughs> but anywho, I need to get in this house and fold up my laundry. I have so many clothes I need to fold and hang up. I literally hate doing laundry. Like I don't mind doing the washing part. It's the folding and the hanging that I hate. So now I need to go ahead and get that done. Um, I've literally contemplated like hiring somebody to do it for me. But then again, you can't trust people. They'll be stealing my clothes and doing all types of crazy stuff. So um, I might as well do it myself. And then too, I've been thinking like, I really want to like throw all of my clothes away and start over fresh. Like I want a whole new wardrobe. I want to revamp everything. I have so many clothes that I haven't even worn in years. And I know I'm not going to wear them. I just need to throw them out. So that'll probably be something that I do as well sometime this week because these clothes got to go. But anywho, let me get in here and fold this laundry because I'm already getting lazy. So I am getting ready to go out to dinner. Today is one of my friend's birthday. 
So I'm gonna take him out to dinner for his birthday. I think we're gonna do crab du jour, um, even though I literally just had crab du jour yesterday, but that's what he chose. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get something different this time. So right now I'm just greasing my scalp. I'm using Blue Magic hair grease. And I don't know if anyone else had has been like this, but for a long time, um, I stopped using grease on my hair. I don't remember why exactly I stopped using grease, but um, I don't know. I just stopped. I, I guess I was feeling like it was preventing something. I don't know. It's been years, but I was looking at TikTok and some videos talking about hair growth and just going back to the old school grease. So I decided to get back to using grease on my hair instead of just using like the little oils with the dropper. Um, but it definitely is doing its thing because I do have a lot of new growth under these braids. So I'm going to continue using grease on my hair. And this is actually a grease I remember using when I was younger. Like my mom used to put this on me and my sister's hair. So your girl is going back to using grease. Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patience is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing, traveling, difficult Let go got this rumper from Fashion Nova like a couple years ago and this is my first time ever wearing it. It didn't fit like I wanted to when I first got it but that's it. So we trying the strawberry henny drink. I didn't even know they had this so it's the perfect mixture. If you come to Crab Du Jour and get the strawberry henny. It's so good. Push P. Yeah, it's your P, turn me up. Turn me up, P. Uh -huh. Pointers in the paddock, get my piece. A push a P. <laughs> Cop no hair, i for my piece. We don't want no peace. Got a spot at Puff Spot. Jeff for peace. Drop the data, now we plot. Inside the peace. She not a lesbian for peace, she turned lesbian. Push a P. Push a P. On capital P, I write the president, count presidents Push P. Portuguese on her knees, mopping down a P She let me squeeze, then she leave, cause she keep a P Private sweet, privacy, jump pushing P Purple paint, paint, push a P Push a P, I'm push a P Push a P, push a P Well, it's like a smoothie mix that I like to make in the morning time. 
This is the mix. It's called Greens and Superfoods. And it really is supposed to help with like bloating, digestion, um, and immunity. Immunity. So that pretty much says put one scoop of the powder in the water. Or you can put it inside of a smoothie. But I usually just like to put it in um, water. It actually doesn't taste bad either. Let me just shake. This I got from Amazon. I think Walmart has it. I'm not sure, but I bought mine on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box if y'all want to try it because it does work. I do notice that my stomach isn't as bloated. I don't feel heavy. So, looks like that. Let's go get this money. Seeing you got ritualistic Cleansing my soul of addiction for now Cause I'm falling apart yeah. Tension Between us just like big fences You got issues that I will mention for now Cause we're falling apart pepper and chicken sausage nochi pasta with a cream sauce so now I'm just cutting up some red pepper um, and then I'm going to go ahead and cut up my scallions I also cut up some tomatoes that came with it as well for the scallions it always says to separate the whites from the greens so I'll do that as I finish so a little olive oil so I can cook my chicken sausage and my bell peppers. Next, I'm just adding the chicken sausage into the pan and I'm gonna let that cook until it is done. As it is cooking, I'm gonna chop through it so that it can be nice and broken up. And then I'm also gonna add my red pepper in here as well. Let that cook, do its thing. That's like a broth packet that came with it. And um, yeah, two broth packets. And then I'm gonna put in the cream sauce, season with salt and pepper, mix it all up. While that's going, I'm gonna put my nochi into the water to cook. After everything is put together, this is what it looks like. It says to add some of the green scallions on top. And then I'm also gonna put some of the Parmesan cheese on top as well. It came out really, really good. So today is Friday and today is the big day, y'all. I'm about to go take my local anesthesia course. I'm anxious, I'm excited to be on this new path in my career. Y'all wish me luck. Here we go. Here we go. I got to say a little prayer before I go in this building. I still got my scarf on to let my edges marinate because it's been raining and stuff. But I think I got this. So y'all stay tuned.
So your girl passed her local anesthesia course, y'all. I was so happy um, that I passed. And we had a really great instructor. So shout out to the instructor that we had as well. She did awesome. Um, so yeah. Uh, so basically now what happens is she has to send off some paperwork to the dental hygiene board and then i'll have local anesthesia added onto my license and then after that i can start numbing my own patients if you know the struggle of waiting on a dentist to come give your patient anesthesia for a deep cleaning you know how happy i am just trying to decide what i want to eat i'm so hungry y'all see this bump on my face y'all something bit me on my face and it's hard and it hurts Ugh, I want to pop it. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out what I want to eat. I low-key want some Indian food. But I don't know. What I, what should I eat, y'all? Help me out. Oh, y'all, today was a long day. It was a super long day. I literally got up this morning, deep cleaned my whole apartment. Um, I got my candles going, so I'm feeling really good right now. I'm drinking me some good old wine. Mm -hmm. So this is the wine I'm drinking. It is Riscato. Super duper good. It is a sweet wine and it is only 8% alcohol. I got this one from Walmart, so definitely go get y'all some. Um, it's really good. I don't know what bit me on my face, but this thing is not cute. It's giving boulder. Look at that. Don't nobody want no big boulder on their face. Who got a remedy for spider bites or something? It's got to be a spider bite. Like, I don't have no other. It's not a mosquito bite because this thing is hard. I need a remedy. Y'all see my fur baby? Say hey, y'all. It is really beautiful outside. So your girl decided that she is gonna go for a jog today. Hmm. So we'll see how that goes. I have not jogged in such a long time, but we have this walking trail in my complex. So I'm gonna try to do like a mile. We gonna see. Y'all bear with me, but here we go. All right, so we are walking to the trail. I got my best friend with me. We gonna do this jog together. Neither one of us have ran mm -hmm. in a minute. So, yeah. and it's hot out here too. I can't take it. <laughs> I can't take it. I can't take it. My legs, my back. That's how I'm going to be after. Mm -hmm. But we're going to see. Let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? So, we made it through the jog. I'm hot. I did five laps. You did what? How many? Six. Six. Yes, so, y'all, I'm not used to running right now, but this is going to be a part of my regular routine just so I can get back in the, the hang of things. So I am about to go ahead and head to my parents' house. Today is my dad's birthday, so we are going to take him out to a restaurant called Chris's Steakhouse. So I just finished getting ready. And look at Remy in the back, just knocked out like she's been working all day. Remy. <laughs> That girl is knocked out. But anyway, um, so that is the vlog for the week, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see y'all next time for the next video.